How do you get a taste of home when home is thousands of miles away? Well, a non-profit organization in the U.S. state of Baltimore is helping refugees tend gardens to grow vegetables, some from their countries of origin. Arise News' Tina Millman reports. Down a busy Baltimore street, hidden behind an unassuming storefront, Joyce Cadan visits an urban garden filled with fruits and vegetables from around the globe. When I come here and grow these things, I feel very happy and positive and I think of home. Home was what is now known as South Sudan, but she fled during the country's bloody civil war. Then last year, she and her children moved to Baltimore, where she's now a gardener at New Roots. It's a non-profit that helps refugees grow food, providing a link with the tastes and smells from home. I used to farm in the refugee camp in Uganda, and some of those vegetables and foods, I can't find them in the markets here. For refugees from war-torn countries like Burma, Iraq and Sudan, New Roots is not only about hard-to-find ingredients and saving money on groceries. The great thing about the community gardening program is that it provides a lot of different aspects of support for the gardeners. It is not only a place to grow food, but also, you know, as a social place and a healing place for people to come and do something different. I like this flower. Nida Hasib al-Dafrawi was an avid gardener before she left her home in Iraq, where she was kidnapped and robbed. Now, in the U.S., she's growing eggplants and tomatoes to make a traditional spiced rice dish called makhluba. This is very good and delicious uh, cooking, you know. And uh, very soon I will cook this kind of food for everybody here. I decide to live here and I enjoy to live in America. I want to be a good citizen. And for Nida, that starts with growing fragrant herbs like rosemary and basil and giving them all away. I will give you mint also. Tina Millman, Arise News.